guys, in this video we're going to have a go at making a baby Moana face cake. So first of all I've printed off an image of what I want to make and we're just going to cut it out. Print it to the size you want to make the cake as well. I've started with an 8 inch cake that I've just put on a thin cake board and layered together with chocolate buttercream. So now I've made the cake a little bit soft so it is crumbling a little bit when I'm trying to cut this out. So use that face as a template to just cut around the edge. I decided I'd cut off the hair so I'm actually going to slim the face a little bit as well and I'm going to cut out where the eye holes are and I'm just cutting slightly wider than the eye holes and can you see I've used a chocolate buttercream to layer up my layers of cake underneath so that's why it looks a different colour under there so this is the bit where the hair is going to go I've decided I'm going to put that on in fondant so I'm going to trim off some of the cake and just cut a little bit off the top of the forehead just giving her a bit of a curve on the top of her head so she's not too angled up there and I'm going to cover the whole thing in chocolate ganache you can use buttercream Whichever one you prefer is absolutely fine. I've got some ganache ready made from another cake, so I'm going to use that on here. Just try and get it as smooth as you can. If you need to put it in the fridge for five minutes to let it set, you can do. I'm going to use two packets of the Renshaw's fondant, and I've got a pale skin colour. So I've put a little slit in my template where the nose, bottom of the nose and middle of the mouth goes, and I'm just going to draw through that onto my chocolate ganache so I can see. And I'm rolling two small pieces of the fondant to put on either side of that little mark where the mouth is. So I'm getting a rough shape of the mouth and just a small one again for the nose. Just check the size against your picture and we'll try and shape it a little bit so it looks like the nose. Once you've done that you can roll out the rest of the fondant reasonably thin and we're just going to place that over the cake and give it a light rub with our fingers. Push it in tight around the sides and then we can cut off all the extra from around the edges and then we're just going to tuck it in tight under the nose you can use any modelling tool you've got that you think is going to be handy. This one's just got a flexible rubber end, so I thought it would be quite good for going under the nose and between the line in the mouth. Just pressing a little bit deeper either side of the mouth. Just nudging that lip up slightly with my finger. Just trying to put a bit more shape in there. And I'm just going to check how my eyes fit. So these are just the paper cutout ones from the template. Just push them in slightly so we get an outline of where the eyes are going to go. Can you see those in there? I've got this colour, which is a sugar flower one, and we're just going to dust to darken areas of the face. So use a dry brush, and we're just going to go a little bit on the lips, around the eye area, and then the larger areas, we want some on, but we don't want it as dark, I'm going to use a larger brush. Again, keeping the brush dry. In the areas that we need to go a little bit darker, we're going to use a brown, but just use it lightly. We don't want too much brown on there. So a little bit in the lips, slightly in the eye sockets tiny bit under the nose and just with a little bit of pink add a tiny bit of colour to the cheeks just a small amount not too much for my eyes I'm going to use a circle cutter it's about the same size as my the paper cutouts that we've got and I'm going to use a larger cutter to trim off the bottom part of the eye that's going to give us our rough shape there and we can just place those into the eye sockets now if they don't stay in place just put a little bit of water behind each one so score mark where the eyebrows are and then taking some black food colouring we're just going to start by painting around the eyes so I'm going to go under the eye and around the top of the eye as we come up the side of the eye we can start painting on some little eyelashes so I've got a thick line first and then little eyelashes coming off that thick line and we're just going to do the same on the other eye I'm just going to stick my eyebrows on so I've got dark brown just roll a little snake shape make sure it's thin at the outside end of each eyebrow and stick that on along the line that we've scored and then if you want to put some texture on you can add some little lines with a knife. Now I've got my leftover skin tone which we're going to use for the start of the centres of our eyes. So I've got again a circle cutter, it's quite big but not quite the same size as the whites of the eyes and we're just going to stick these into each eye. Now if you misshape it a little bit just try and spread it back into shape with your finger. I've got a smaller plunger cutter that we're just going to use to mark a circle in the centre of each eye. Then we're going to use our food colours to paint a bit more detail in these eyes. So I've got chestnut colour that we're going to paint on. We're going to water it down slightly so it gives us quite a nice see-through colour. Then we're going to go a little bit darker around the very outside edge of the eye and up near the top of the eye or the iris. And you can do that on both eyes. If you go into the white at all, just wipe it off with a slightly damp clean brush. Then we're going to paint black into that middle bit. Now if you prefer, you can cut out a piece of black fondant and stick that in there instead. 
and we've got a little ball of white fondant that I'm just going to press into the eye. Just be careful you don't smudge the wet food colouring when you do that. Do the same on both eyes. Now we're going to make a start on our cake board. I think I've got about a 14 inch cake board here. So I've just got some ivory coloured sugar paste and I'm just going to roll it out. Now it doesn't matter if it's not got a straight edge on one side and I'm just going to trim the other side as it goes around the edge of my cake board. If you want to texture it so it looks a bit more like sand you can do and I'll put links to what I've used the texture in in the description box below the video. And I'm going to use some blue fondant. Now I've got some blue and white fondant mixed together or you can just mix blue food colouring in but I don't want to mix it too much. I want it to look a little bit marbled so it looks a little bit sea-like and I'm just going to roll this out. Now, I'm not too worried about the scruffy edge at the moment because we're going to fold this back. So lay it so it's kind of overlapped over the ivory colour sugar paste and we're going to trim around the edge. So the edge of that or the bit in the middle of the board is supposed to look like a wave kind of lapping backwards. Cut out the body from that print off that you had earlier and we're going to cut around that with the flesh colour. I'm just going to press in slightly where the neck is and we're going to add some shading with those same colour dust that we did on the face. Make the little necklace, so little teardrops in white or ivory colour. I'm just going to use the back of my knife to put a little line down the centre of each one. So we'll do a few of these going all the way across. Keep an eye on your piece of paper and print out for guidelines of where to put them. Just work out where the head's going to go and I'm going to put a bit of the chocolate ganache that I had left over from earlier onto there just to hold my head into place. Just make sure you've got it where you want it. I'm going to use some dark brown fondant. You can mix the colour yourself but it's just a little bit easier for me if I use it pre-dyed. And we're just going to roll thick sausages to stick on for the hair. Now it's quite a lot of fondant for the hair so you might find you don't want to eat all this fondant. And it is chocolate flavoured is this dark brown one. I'm just going to run some little lines in it. Now I've put the back piece on I can stick an ear on. It's just kind of a semicircle shape. Again in our flesh colour from earlier. And then we're going to add some more dust to it just to shade it and deepen it a little bit. Then I can start putting more pieces of hair on. So just a piece at a time, little flick coming up from the end. I'm just going to keep building this up till I'm happy with the amount of hair she's got on there. Add in some more lines. So keep using your printout as reference for whereabouts to stick them. So a couple of smaller pieces up on the front of her forehead. We'll go for a bigger piece now next to those. Just curl it round at the end slightly. And some small pieces tucked in at the back. They're hard to see from the camera angle. You can see them a little bit more from the side. Don't forget once you've added some hair to the back of the head that we need to give her an ear on this side as well. I'm going to try and line it up with the other ear. And then I'm just going to keep going over that again with more hair. If the hair doesn't stick, just add a little bit of water to the back of it just to make it a little bit sticky. Just going to paint a tiny bit of brown down the centre of each of my shells. It's just the brown food colouring we use for the eyes. And I've got some more white, we're just going to make some big kind of teardrop shapes and flatten them a little bit. This is going to make a little flower for behind her ear. Just overlap them together. Just going to push that on there. Give it a really good push on in place. If it doesn't balance, stick a bit of brown fondant just underneath it to hold it in place. And then we're going to make some shells. So I've got a pale yellow and we're going to kind of roll it up so it's thinner at the first end that I've rolled up, fatter at the bottom. Let's put a line in there for the bottom of our shell. And I'm just going to try and pinch the edges slightly so it's a bit more shell-like, changing the shape a little bit. And we'll stick these on the bottom. We'll do the same on this one. Let's try pinching it first, see what happens. And then rolling it. So I'm just pinching it a bit more on that fatter edge. Just to give it more detail, we'll paint a bit of white on, just on the edges that kind of stick out. It's just the powder, the edible powder that I've got here, but you can use any white food colouring is fine. And then let's put a little bit of shading on. I've actually got the same colour as using on her skin tone. Just a tiny bit on some of the shells, just so they don't look too flat with colour. And then let's paint a little bit of pink onto the flower. Now it's not overly bright this pink, so we might go over it with a slightly deeper, more fuchsia colour. I don't want the colour to look too flat, I want the petals to look lighter. So if you go too dark, splash of white back over the top of that just to lighten it a bit. And there she is, all finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. If you liked the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials.
There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.